Hot and ready! Or where a kid can be a kid. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Today, we are doing a food feud that's pretty unexpected. When I say Little Caesars, who do you think of as their nemesis? Chuck E. Cheese, because I read the video title. Okay, thank you for playing along, Rhett. Yes, as it turns out, the animatronic mouse has been gunning for Caesar mm -hmm. right under our noses this whole time. Their menus are strikingly similar. Eerily. It's disturbing. Eerily it's similar. Eerie. You weren't thinking it, but we were thinking it. We noticed it. The only it's real true. difference is their stance on ball pits. Uh -huh. Okay, their offerings are perfect for a food feud. It's time for Food Feuds. Little Caesars versus Chuck E. Cheese. We're gonna taste and compare popular menu items from both establishments and rate each one head to head. Whichever pizza place garners the most points will be dubbed the Prince of Pizza. Pizza Pizza, oh, Prince of Pizza. I get it, that's a little forced. And we'll win a chance to sponsor a future GMM episode. When you have to explain the joke that hard. Uh, pizza Pizza, is it go. Pizza Pizza? Yeah it is. Prince of Pizza. Let's do it. All right, let's see who's serving us food today. Hey, hey. guys, I am Chuck E. Cheese Charlie. Hey, that's convenient. Yeah, soon to be manager Charlie, as long as today goes well. Fingers crossed. Oh. oh. Yeah, but Timmy, get out of the ball pit. Okay. Do not pee in there again. Okay. So this is. Is that your son? You bring him to work? It's just this kid who keeps showing up. I don't okay. even know where his parents are. So this is a garlic bread. It's Whoa, got uh, really? garlic and bread and also mozzarella cheese and cheddar for seven forty nine. dollars oh, delicious. Cheddar on there, too. That's Just note that. I noted cheddar. Hi. Hi. Um, hey. I'm Little Caesars, Lauren. I'm sorry. I'm a little nervous. Ever since we installed the Little Caesars pizza lockers, I haven't really talked to people in a while, so I'm a little shy. <laughs> um, Just think of us as two lockers. It makes it worse. <laughs> um, so Ugh. that is mm. freshly baked bread covered in cheese and Italian spices for four fifty. I don't know what to do with my hands. Is, that, <laughs> is, there is any... this good? Just, just yeah, is that? We'll take them that way. I don't know. So this was. This, there's no cheddar over here. This what's looks the, impressive. When's the last time you've been to the E Cheese? <laughs> Whoa, dude. Not in my adult, I never took my kids there. Did you take your kids there? Oh, I took them to showbiz. Um, it's look pieces, at that, it's, pieces. it's perforated. Like the cheese isn't perforated. That's pretty tasty, you taste that cheddar? You taste that cheddar, you, we wanted me to notice it. I mean, it's notable. Did you know that Chuck E. Cheese had cheesy bread? Like, I mean, if you had to put me against a wall and said, Yes or no, do they have cheese hey, bread? do they have cheese uh, bread? Probably. Do they, man, do <laughs> they? It's like, I mean, maybe it's a pizza place. I guess I just assumed they only had pepperoni pizza and cheese pizza. And this is eye-opening. You this can is... order Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, good, yeah. Can you get it delivered? I mean, would you? This this looks good. You can? You can, right? Yeah, so it, it is competitive in that oh, way. That's good, too. I'm just also very hungry. Mmm. Very different, but also good. Little Caesars uses 100% mozzarella and monster cheese instead of cheese byproducts. Did you notice the monster? No. When we did our like, what was it, In-N-Out versus Shake Shack, people were like, they never talk about the difference in price. So I wanted to, I wanted to just let you notice the cheddar, and I noticed the monster. I wanted to notice that there is a difference in price here. I'm not necessarily going to take it into account, but this is like 750, and that's like 450 or approximately. So. You know, if we get stuck and we and we don't and we're gonna give some weight, we might go with the cheaper thing, just you know, because it's affordable. Just going off taste first. That's that's nice, man. I'm giving that a nice solid yeah, six. Six. I'm giving it a seven. I almost want to give it an it, eight. It is good. I am surprised. It's there's almost an eggy quality to it. It's, I know that's a weird thing to say, but it's like a very it's a little spongy, in a good way. This one, what puts it over the top is the. The, the spices on top of the cheese to me. Yeah, there's something kind of Italian. Clearly better and cheaper. I'm giving it an eight. I'm, I'm, it is slightly better. I'm going, I'm going to eight as well. I'm very impressed with this. I mean, I, even I, though you gave it a lower score, I gave yeah. it a seven. But this is, you know what? This is like feels like more traditional bready kind of thing, which I, which I enjoy. I wouldn't call this eggy, but there is maybe a pancake quality to it. Look at that. 
Who would have thunk that that's the bottom? Still hungry. Okay. Hello. <laughs> what, what is this? Yeah. You're you're doing you're doing yeah. good. Just picture me as a locker. I don't know. Um, it's a it came from a round pizza, <laughs> and it's got meat. It's got oh, it's got pepperoni and sausage, and it's got oh, it's getting hot. Uh. She's having a lot of trouble. It's twelve dollars. It's twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. I think, $12, I think, so she, I think said, she said twelve She said it came from a round pizza. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. She's in pain. <laughs> uh, so this is our uh, meat pizza. It's got, you know, it's got sausage, bacon, ham. Uh, it's got pepperoni. And it's got beef all together for $25.99. Uh, so it's delicious. You'll love it. Tammy! Tammy! Do not! That is for whacking moles, not for whacking people! Whack, whack a mole. Um, look at the meat size difference here. Like, I mean, when you take a little... A little piece of this and a little piece of this. Boy. Well, you picked the smallest sausage. I mean, I could get you a bigger sausage, but you're right. It is. Give me the biggest sausage. I mean, it all is. of the sausages are much bigger in Caesar Town. Uh, well, how do they taste though? You know, it all becomes the same size in your in your colon. Yeah, let's think about our colon. <laughs> Pretty floppy. That is meaty and greasy, as one would expect. Like I feel like I should be like hearing the sounds of children. And like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's this is not great pizza. No. It's um Beef is unusual, no? Because usually the, the sausage is pork. And there was an added beef. There's sausage and beef. Yeah. And hamburger. And I'm tasting just that beef. I'm tasting just that beef. Uh, it's nothing to rave about, Stevie. Oh, the sausage by itself is re actually really bad. It's not doing it for now me. Now this over here. Look at the size of that sausage. Now I'm a sausage piece of man. I don't normally love the pepperoni. Is that like strips of ham? Cubed bacon. And they also have regular bacon. That's not great either, but no. it is better. Yeah, it's definitely better. Um, I'm giving this a four. I'm gonna give it a three. Okay. It just wasn't, it was, I, I can't come up with anything good to say about it, except that it was they, pizza. They tried. They tried. <laughs> now, Caesar's not wowing me over here either, man. I'm giving it a five. I'm, I'm not going higher than a five. I, I agree. I'm going to give it a five because I like big old sausage. <laughs> yeah, who doesn't? Mm. All mm. right, so these are the boneless buffalo wings for $15.99. If you'll excuse me, I got to go pretend to be an animatronic robot because they got rid of those and now I have to sing as a freaking robot. Wow, he's that's doing a it fun himself. job. Oh, they got rid of the animatronics? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got this. All right. All right. These are our um, wings, hmm. and the sauce is eight ninety nine. Nope, the sauce and the wings is eight ninety nine. Okay, not the just kitten the sauce. caboodle. It is so scary outside of Little Caesars. Right, <laughs> <laughs> Little, C Little Caesars. Um, it's affordable. They're they're affordable. We I mean, have to. We have sixteen to talk. bucks versus nine bucks. And this isn't. This is just a, a portion. I think there's more than this that come in an actual order. They're not only boneless. I mean, I just call this a nugget. They're nuggets. How do they taste? Things taste like they might have been frozen at some point. It's actual pieces of chicken, though. I could have a good night alone with these. Hanging out alone at the Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> yeah. Drinking yeah. beers. Nobody ever looks at me funny when I go to the Chuck E. Cheese by myself. And I order, mean, it's a place to order take the wings. kids. It is. It's, not, yo, it's it, a place to take kids. I mean, it could also be a place to like get an instant family. I guess if you want to go there alone, that's what I I'm getting. I think you at. can meet. You could meet a like a a single a single parent could meet another single parent. Yeah, that could work. I bet you that this is some hot. So you're pa you're paying there. for that. I think I'm not trying to like think about what we scored things, but you're paying for love. You're paying for the experience. Like, your kids to be distracted. This is a bone-in wing. It's legit decent. It's got a black pepper punch. It's legit decent. I kind of like the um, the black peppery nature It's of, inter it's with, the, with the hot it's sauce. It's interesting, the flavor profile is not bad. It doesn't really feel like a real hot wing. It's got that sort of baked thing going on, which I, I'm not a, 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 that big of a fan of. I like more of a fried wing. Yeah, but all the pizza places wings are gonna be baked in the ovens. It's a lot better than this nugget. 
I'm gonna give these a five, because like I said, I could enjoy these alone. Um, I'm gonna give it a three, frame. because this is this is like microwave level, a little like oven at home level experience. I'm gonna give it a six. For a baked wing, I don't think it's that bad at all. But I agree, I, I can't give it more than a six in the world of wings. Yeah, because we're dealing with the world of wings. Mm -hmm. World of Wings, opening soon. Okay, before we try our next items, I got something I'm very excited about. Over the years, there's been a recurring guest on the show that sort of stood out above the rest. He's real, real Southern, and he loves to shag. And he, and he's related to me. Can you guess who it is? It's my father. Yes, Link's dad. My dad, Charles, Charles. Uh, we're gonna give him a podcast. Yeah, here we are. And I'm gonna be his sidekick. I'm saying he, this is what I've been telling him. Dad, do you want a podcast? Uh, I'll, I'll be there for you. I, I talked to my dad on the phone. I'm like, why don't we just turn that into a podcast? You like listen to my dad talk, right? Yes. Um, yes. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> In a mythical world, one man has stood out Above the rest. Hey, boys. Hey. It's me, Link's dad. <laughs> See? He's back. Total reset. He's back. And has inspired countless people with his words. Ain't no sugar in this cookie for you. For my birthday, my friends gave me a bunch of old dirt. I told them, I appreciate this sediment. No, I haven't never heard of oat milk. But now, hear him like you've never heard him before. I sure am a dirty boy. On his all new podcast. Meow, meow, how you doing? Dispatches from Myrtle Beach. Coming soon. Come and have a good time with us. Yeah, we're, do we're doing a podcast called Dispatches from Myrtle Beach, where my dad lives. He's gonna give me all the updates on his goings ons, his shagging and whatnot in the Myrtle Beach area. <laughs> Uh, Full shagging details. That's 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 a that's a dance. It just means dancing in South Carolina. Uh, but who knows what he's up to? Right. So every week you can listen in on a conversation that I have with my dad. And you know what? I have published his email address, and we're gonna put it down here right now. So uh, it's rather be shagging fifty three at aol dot com. <laughs> <laughs> so, I hope that's not too risque <laughs> for you two. <laughs> you two. So if you want to email my dad anything that he can respond to on Dispatches from Myrtle Beach, have at it. If there's a joke that you want him to tell me, you know, he was telling some dirty jokes on uh, yeah, he's on up. Good Mythical Evening, I believe. So um, yeah, you can email those to him. If you got any questions for him, if you want to, if you need any advice, any sage wisdom from a fatherly figure, uh, rather be shagging 53 at AOL.com is uh, flood my dad's inbox, go for it. And it's gonna premiere on June 16th. It's the right time for Father's Day, isn't yeah. that nice? Isn't that nice? I'm looking forward to it. Episodes every Thursday. All right. What is it a mistake? Uh, well, I don't know. Well, maybe that might be the beauty I don't it. know. It might be the beauty Yes. <laughs> Who wouldn't, <laughs> who wouldn't rather be shagging, you know? What I mean? <laughs> right. <laughs> so this is the veggie pizza. Yeah. It's got uh, green peppers, black olives. It's got red onions, and it's got tomato, and of course mushroom. And it's delicious, and you're gonna love it. And boy, howdy to me! Dad, oh, do not call me your father just because Link's dad is named Charlie does not mean I'm your dad. Well, it's a little bit of an outburst there. He's kind of he's got anger issues. I'm feeling better. I feel a lot more confident. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing good. She's taking something. <laughs> I just chugged a whole shot glass full of buffalo sauce. <laughs> yeah, okay. So this is our veggie pizza. It's got green peppers, onions, black olives, um, and then it's got Italian seasoning on it, and it's $11. Are those cameras? Uh, no. No, 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 they're not. They're Have they not. been Don't there worry. the whole time? Nope. No, this is just us. We're more just lockers. Hang We're just hanging out. More lockers. We're just hanging out. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna take this one because it has uh, more olives. So this I figure is you want to. So this is olives. much thinner, uh, but, but that thin, doesn't mean but, anything. Look I mean, at that. When you get it the, together, thin, thin could be good. Sometimes it's got the same complexion. Again, this is also twenty six dollars for the Chuck E. Cheese pizza. 
$11. You're paying for the ambiance, man. You're paying to get your kids out of your hair. They got you trapped. I got you trapped. And this, and this pizza tastes incredible when you're like trying to avoid your children, you know? Um, but just isolated? It's bad. Little Caesars is not horrible, and we've been surprised by how good it is, but I mean, of all the food feuds, man, we're, this is not the greatest experience. Yeah, I'm not having a great I mean, time. I'm just being honest. Um, the cheese, the bread, and the sauce is all better at Little Caesars. I mean, veggie pizza, man. That is for the birds. Three. Three. Four. Four. <laughs> I mean, you know, it doesn't take much to win this round. Dessert. This is our brownie. It has cookie dough icing on top and M&Ms. It's three eighty nine. I'm looking right at it, aren't I? Yeah. I should have been doing this the whole time. Yep. No, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. She, you're, you're good. You're doing great. Creep. Almost creepy. This is our chocolate chip cookie for seven forty nine, and this is my son Timmy. Oh. He's a, <laughs> mm, <laughs> why do you have a beard? <laughs> well. What a striking resemblance to Chase on his knees. <laughs> you know? I've never seen Chase on his knees. Chase on his knees, yeah. Um, uh, now this looks promising. This, Finally! Yeah, this looks Chuck like a, a party. is coming through. Because you know it's like a birthday party place and you get the cookie cake. Now we are ranking these on a scale of one, one to, to five. five because it ain't all about the dessert. We're gonna do some waiting. That's pretty dang good. Mm. It's very doughy. It's a pizookie. I mean, I've had better in this, but this is the best thing. This is the best thing at Chuck E. Cheese right here. Oh, yes. That is good. I'm going to give it a four. I can't go all the way to five. It's not perfect. Oh, man. I'm I'm, 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 I'm going to gladly give that a five. Well, do it. Now, this right here. It's got little baby M&Ms on is, it. This is scary. It's like a blonde brownie on top of a regular brownie. I'm going to taste it without the little M&Ms. Oh, that's icing or something on top. Yeah, it's very thin. Like... You could just scrape all that off. It's like very cookie dough frosting. Yes, it is cookie dough frosting. That's also not that bad. That is that. I've never had cookie dough frosting. Now that I understand what it is, I know that's interesting. Feels like I'll get sick before I realize I shouldn't keep eating it. Um, I'm gonna give it a three. I don't think it's great, but I would finish it. I like cookie dough frosting. This is better. Though. But this is this is so much better. I agree. I'm gonna give this a three. Okay, there we go. So let's get those totals. We got Chuck E. Cheese with 43 points, but Little Caesars with 52 points. I can't say you should be that proud because it was not too difficult to beat Chuck E. Cheese on this particular day. I mean, we'll still accept the sponsorship. <laughs> I think this may be our lowest overall total points combined food feud ever. Very, very likely. Very likely. But I mean, you gotta start somewhere, right? Some days you're gonna be disappointed with this show. From the inside out, at least. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Where's your son? Yeah! Yo, what's up? It's Big J, and right here's my homie A to the U to the T to the U to the M to the N. And you know what time it is? It's time to spin that wheel of mythicality. <laughs> <laughs> Love the energy. <laughs> I don't know the cat's name because I can't spell that fast. Can you spell mutton? I, yeah, I can't, I can't M hear M to the U to the T to the T to the O to the N. I don't know what he says. Mutton. Autumn. Autumn? See, I knew it was something similar to mutton. <laughs> Click Can't the top link fast. to watch us reveal the best way to cut into a steak in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. Join Link and his dad on their all new podcast, Dispatches from Myrtle Beach, every week starting next Thursday, June 16th.